Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If anyone is new here, then welcome. My name is Jenna and today I have a pack with me for Venice vlog. And I'm so excited because I feel like I wanna put a little bit more emphasis on the outfits part of packing because that is probably my most favorite part about traveling is getting to dress up, just kidding. <laughs> um, it's obviously experiencing new places and being able to have these opportunities is a really huge blessing. So um, for those of you who are new or if you guys haven't seen any of my latest vlogs, I am going to Venice for work and I leave tonight. It's Saturday morning and I think it is 8, it's 8.45. I woke up at around 7.45 made the bed, unpacked a box, if you could believe it. We've been in this apartment for two months and I just had this box of miscellaneous crap slash all of my desk stuff that I needed to unpack. And because I don't have a desk anymore, I was kind of struggling on where to put it, but thank God we have huge nightstand drawers. So the bottom drawer is going to be all of my office supplies stuff. But anyway, that's boring. Um, but that's what I did this morning. And then I just sat down and planned what I'm packing inside of my Louis Vuitton journal. This is honestly one of the greatest investments I ever made. Buying something like this, as silly as it sounds, made me plan my day out more often. I've like barely skipped days in here because I spent money on something. So um, I've been a lot more organized. It's better for me, especially on a day where I have like the full day to worry and wonder about all the things that I need to pack. I could just write everything down here and then also get my to-do list done. So I was going to go to Suited and get one last iced coffee because normally in Europe, they don't do iced coffee. They do, especially Italy, they do hot coffees like cappuccinos, espressos, all that kind of stuff. And if you ask for it iced, they're kind of like, really? <laughs> So I wanted to have another iced coffee, but I do have a La Cologne in a can. It's like their vanilla latte. So I think I might just make that because I wanted to get started with all of the things that I have to do on my to-do list for today. So we're gonna tidy up the apartment. I have to pack and show you guys all of the outfits that I'm bringing. I have to edit a vlog, edit a Zara and H&M haul, which I think I'm gonna do the Zara and H&M haul first before I do anything else because I wanna get that uploaded while I complete the other house chores and then I'm gonna go through everything that I'm bringing with you guys. So this is going to be like a cozy at home vlog. So grab a coffee or a cup of tea. Hopefully it's not gonna be too long because I don't have too much time today. Um, I have to leave at 2.30 to get to JFK. So I'm trying to leave a little bit earlier so that I don't have to worry in the car about airport traffic because there always is airport traffic when you're going to JFK. Also, just to mention, I had my first fiasco this morning. I put my passport inside of this little zip pouch and I don't know where it is right now. Um, and I put it when I went to pack with my long wallets and I thought it was in my box of like office stuff because I guess it's like a travel document. I don't know, in my head that's where I thought it was. And it was not, and it was not in my nightstand. And there's literally no other place in the apartment where we have like a junk drawer or anything where I would have put it. So I kind of freaked out and I was going through my like back stock bin. I was kind of like digging through all that stuff, looking in the dresser in the front hallway. And then I was like, I know exactly where it is. And it's in this little like wicker basket that has my other like longer wallets. So good thing I didn't call my mom and ask her if it was at home because I knew I had it after Greece because I came back to my apartment afterwards and it just had to be here. Otherwise I left it in my old apartment which is impossible because that place was empty by the time I left. So yeah, passport has been found. Wasn't really lost for too long. It was maybe like 10 minutes of me freaking out but that was me at 7.45. So, I'm gonna make myself a coffee and then we're gonna get started with the packing process after I do a little bit of admin work. Okay, right, so we have the coffee all ready to go. I filled it a little bit too high. I thought it was gonna be the perfect portion and then it ended up pouring a little bit higher than I wanted it to. So I'm gonna just try to gently stir this it looks like a really nice color and this is the vanilla one let me show you guys the container 
container just in case, but it is the vanilla latte. Super cute. Let's see if it tastes good. I didn't see any like expiration date or anything on this. Oh, there it is. It says you best buy 413.24. So these actually last a really long time. Very good investment just in case. I mean, I don't know. I would definitely finish a pack of these by 2024. It's honestly not bad. The texture is definitely thick, like you would be getting a whole milk latte. And I believe this is made with whole milk, so just to also let you guys know. But it says perfectly sweet and creamy, and it's definitely creamy. Yeah, so the texture is definitely like a latte. The flavor is actually really good considering it came from a can. It tastes like fresh vanilla. And so yeah, I think I'm gonna be good to go with this for today instead of going and buying a coffee. Um, and I also got to have an iced coffee because we most likely won't be having any of these in Europe. It's been a little while since I picked up the camera, but I got my YouTube video uploaded and ready to go. And now it's time to pack. So I needed to transfer a couple of files from my memory card. So while I did that, I kind of started to lay out the outfits over on the bed here and I need to try them all on with you guys because I just realized one thing about one of the things <laughs> and I have to try it on and see if it's gonna work but I have some backups as well so I'll show you guys what I'm thinking about packing right now and kind of the vision for the outfits and I'm gonna try them on with you so that you could see what it looks like if you guys need work outfit inspo or anything like that then hopefully you guys will enjoy this we have a little bit of a dark color palette, which no surprise there. Um, but so far, I have two knit dresses. This one is a maxi style, and it's a turtleneck. The reason why I was saying that I realized something was that the slit on this comes up pretty high. So I can either try to fix that with some tights, which I have two pairs there. But if not, I'm probably going to switch this out for one of the alternative outfits that I have over there. Um, and then this is my Cezanne knit like charcoal gray dress. I wore this to dinner last night and it was perfect. I put on some tights and what shoes was I wearing? I can't remember. Oh, I was wearing my um, Sam Edelman like suede knee high boots and it was a really nice like easy outfit to throw on but it also looked very polished, which that is how I'm trying to dress when I go to Europe for my conferences. And then this is a pair of straight leg trousers. They're kind of cropped, but the weather is going to be around 60 degrees and sunny. So I think I could probably make that work, especially since I want to wear this peasant sweater with it on top. I have my skinny belt and my thicker YSL Cassandra belts. I get so much use out of these two, but I want to try them on with the outfits to see which one I want to bring. If not, I can bring both worst case. And then the backups we have so far, I have this shirt that you guys would have seen in my Zara and H&M haul and I love the way this looks underneath the sweater and I think it's going to be a really good alternative to have because you can wear it with a sweater over the top and just have the collar peeking out or you can just wear it on its own. And then I also have this striped shirt. It is a YSL tank, um, so no need to own the YSL one, but I have one from H&M that's super similar, but this is kind of the vibe is to wear this underneath the black sweater and have this kind of popping out of the top and um, with a pair of jeans, which I haven't taken out of my drawer yet. So those are the two backups in addition to this little pinstripe blazer. So that's kind of what I'm thinking so far, but I'm gonna try these three first and then if I need to make any adjustments then we will put in the alternatives. For shoes, I only have this pair of loafers right now. They're kind of a brown tortoise pattern and I wanted to wear these because I think they would look really nice and kind of warm up the gray dress, but I have to see if they look good with the knit dress. And then for this one, I kind of wanted to wear my black loafers, but I think it's kind of ridiculous to bring two different pairs of loafers for the same purpose, because my black ones are these exact ones, but just black leather instead. So we're struggling a little bit in the shoe department, but once I have the outfits on, I feel like I'll be able to get a better idea of the footwear that I want to choose. Okay, sorry if I look pale. I just tried to pull the blind so that I can get a little bit more light in here, but this is where we're starting with outfit number one. This is my Cezanne knit dress. It's kind of a wool material and has a ribbed cuff here. And I love the length of this. I think it's the perfect length that you don't have to wear a belt to try to create some shape because it kind of hits at a really flattering point on the thigh. But 
I put on my backup pair of tights underneath because I already know that the other ones are fine from dinner last night and I wanted to make sure that my alternative pair will work too. So I love the dress with the tights. I think it looks a lot more elevated when you throw on tights with something like this, especially since it's a more boxy fit. And then the loafers, these are like a brownish tone as I mentioned before and I like the way that it looks paired with a kind of like cooler tone gray. So this is option number one. I think we're definitely gonna pack this just because I don't have any call outs, I should say, with this look. So I think it's gonna be a perfect option, especially if I am tired from being jet lagged and I just wanna throw something on and be ready really quickly, then I think that this is a really good option. So outfit number one, let me know what you guys think, but I think I'm definitely going to pack this. I wish we could vote in real time, but that is the one downside of YouTube. Outfit number two is on, and this is where I'm thinking I might have to look into some of the backups because this slit, which I remember that when I got this dress, I was like, I need to have this sewn either all the way closed or just closed to like here where it's appropriate. But I love the dress. I think it looks really nice with the belt. The only problem is the slit. You can literally see like the thicker part of my tights and that was supposed to try to solve the slit situation. And then the loafers, I don't think, I mean, it doesn't look that bad with the loafers, but I don't think I love the loafers and I'm trying to not bring like a full pair of boots. And I feel like that's what I would want to wear with this. But I think the overall like track that I was on with this is fine, but I just think functionally, like this is not, not really work appropriate to have my entire leg hanging out. So I'm not gonna bring this one sadly, but now I know that I do need to take this to the tailor down the street and see if they can close this a little bit so that I can wear it in the future because I think it's a really good in-between piece. Okay, we've got outfit number three on and I think this might be the reason why I wanna bring my black loafers. The pants are not looking too black and I think it's because this is a knit material and this is a wool blend or fully wool, I don't know. Um, but I don't know if that looks bad or not i feel like it's showing up a lot more on camera but this sweater i think is really cute it's a little bit itchy but i love this little lace detail up here how it kind of ties in with the cream and then the pants i do really love the shape of them i actually got these at a sample sale and normally our pants don't fit me they're like loose on my waist and tight on my thighs but these actually fit super well and they have cute pleats in the front too so i really like the pants i just don't know if i want to wear the sweater with the pants if that makes sense i might put on some straight leg jeans with this top instead. And then I will try to figure out what shoes to wear with that. But I might just bring the pants and then just do a normal knit sweater with them so that I could still wear them. And again, I think we need to have a different option for shoes because I don't know that the brown ones really go with this. I think I would wanna do all black. By the way, I kept my tights on because I didn't feel like taking them off. And I think I need to wear them for one of the back up outfits. Hopefully my tights don't rip while I'm there because I'm planning on wearing them multiple times, but that's why I'm bringing more than one pair. But this is like almost a win, but it's not. So we're gonna keep going. I just tried on a few more things that didn't work, but I'm actually like running out of time. So I didn't wanna show you guys a couple of options if I'm not going to wear them. So this is, I think the next option, I think this is the next outfit I'm gonna go with. I'm not going to wear a crop top. I just have to get my black t-shirt that will tuck into my black Zara shorts. And then I'm gonna have on this skinny little um, Cassandra belt. And then over the top of that, I just have a pinstripe blazer. I don't think it's bothering me that the shorts are longer than the blazer. And this is like a navy and black. No, this is a black blazer, is it? I have no idea. Um, and then for my shoes, I'm gonna put on my shiny little tuxedo ones instead of the brown ones because I just don't think that those tones mix well with this blazer. So this is the plan for outfit number two. I just have to get my regular t-shirt and not this little crop top. The bed is just getting messier and messier as I continue, but I am actually gonna switch out that last pinstripe blazer with this jacket instead, just because I think it looks nicer with the shorts, how it's this cropped um, thing. So it looks like it's intentionally shorter than my shorts, whereas the other one came like right above them. So I'm gonna do this. And then the only change I think is going to be a white t-shirt underneath instead of black, just to create a little bit more dimension because this looks very one color, obviously, because it is. <laughs> As a refresher, just because I was a little bit chaotic, outfit number one is the charcoal gray dress with the tights. 
Outfit number two is a white tee with that short jacket and shorts and tights. Outfit number three is this whatever I have on right now. I put these cropped pants back on because I think they look really nice. With a black t-shirt, I might switch to my white t-shirt depending on how I feel once I actually put it on. And then I have this longer blazer. So it kind of creates a full suit look, which I really like. The only thing I wish I could do is wear heels, but I don't think I'm going to bring a pair. So we're just going to do some sort of flats. I can wear the tortoise loafers just because this is all black and it would look like a nice little contrast but um shoes still to be determined on this one i have to bring a black pair for the second outfit so um depending on what i want to do the morning of i will either wear the brown ones or the black ones with this look so this is the third outfit finally just as a little aside i have this sophie rue top on that i got from thd shop that i've never tried on for you guys but it is the most beautiful and flattering type of i don't know blazer i guess that i've ever worn it's not really a blazer because you're meant to wear it closed as if it's just a top but i think this looks really cool i love the square neckline i think it's super flattering the only thing i think i would do is number one i'd either wear this to dinner or my other option is to put on some straight leg blue jeans to dress it down and then wear like i don't know a little low heel i do have my bow heels that i could possibly bring with me if i want to wear a dressier shoe but i think i could wear this with these trousers to go to dinner for one of the nights and if i want to dress it down for a meeting during the day i can put on some jeans and make it look a little bit more casual but this is really so pretty i'm so glad i tried this on okay i just put on the jeans and this looks so cute i love how this top piece is really tailored and then the jeans are this light wash straight leg and they're kind of baggy but i would put on i think my little low bow heels just because these jeans are a little bit long on me and just to dress it up a smidge but i think that this is adorable and i can definitely wear this during the day i just have to figure out shoes i feel like that's my main challenge right now is figuring out my shoes <laughs> so then this is everything else that i'm bringing i just have a couple pairs of socks here but we have my passport in this little case that i almost lost I'm going to bring a notebook because they normally give us them, but I like this more structured one better. And then I have my work phone and my regular phone, a pair of sunglasses, my wallet, and this is everything like extra in terms of like contact case, glasses, all that stuff. My lint roller, definitely necessary when you're going to be wearing as much black as I am. This has all of my chargers and my technology things inside of it. I like keeping everything in separate bags if you guys couldn't tell just so that if I need something I know exactly where it is and it's not just like flying around in my bag and then I have my makeup case that also has a couple more toiletry things inside there so yeah this is everything um I just need to grab my skincare products I'm gonna bring my caudalie ones just because if I'm gonna be traveling I know my skin's probably gonna react I'm also gonna be exhausted so I just want to make sure I'm taking care of my skin while I'm gone but I need to get this and all of this into my suitcase i laid it out nicely as if i had time for this but i wanted to take a packing photo for instagram which is even more ridiculous now that i'm saying it but um i'm gonna throw everything in my suitcase and then i'm gonna go downstairs and get lunch quickly and then call my uber so this is why we don't end up doing all this stuff last minute even if you consider yourself an expert packer because i mean i would like to think that i am <laughs> but i've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off for the past two and a half hours and I feel like I was also really rushing through showing you guys the outfits and I was <laughs> having a little bit of a hard time deciding what I wanted to bring. It was almost like I had too many options and then I was putting things together and I liked pieces separately but not together. But I'm fully packed. My carry-on is packed as well and I just put the clean dishes away the ones in the um, dishwasher are dried, so I'm gonna go downstairs and get some pizza. And then if I have time after I get back and after I eat to put those dishes away, I will. But if not, my boyfriend is going to do it. But we made good time. I have everything that I need in order to get over to Italy and everything that I'm going to need while I'm there. It was really just like a cosmetic thing of me <laughs> trying to figure out my outfits, which was a little bit crazy. But speaking of outfits, I have one more to show you guys and it's gonna be my travel outfit. So I just have a plain black sweater draped over my shoulders. This is like, this is like a cashmere blend, so it's a little bit thinner, which I like when I'm draping. And my tank top is from H&M. 
so I think it's like $12 or something. Of course, I'm always gonna have to bring you guys down a little bit, but these trousers are from M. They are a little, I think they're wool blend, but they're really nice quality. They have a very like nice tailored waist and pleats going down the front. They're also really, really soft and that's why I wanted to wear them because I do want something that's going to be comfortable, but then also I like look a little bit more elevated in and I normally tend to travel that way when I'm going for work. And I think just something that I might do with the sweater too is just cuff it a little bit. Not that anyone's gonna notice the difference. Then my shoes are just a pair of Saint Laurent sneakers. These are just the normal like tennis shoe. And yeah, I almost didn't keep this tank top because I thought it was gonna be a little bit too much contrast, but I think it looks really cool with the sweater draped over it and just a good way for me to layer a little bit so that if I get cold, I just put my sweater on or if I get there and it's warmer than I thought, then I could just take the sweater off and drape it. So yeah, this is the outfit. I'm really excited. <laughs> Now that I am done with the chaos, I can get excited for the trip, but I also feel like I'm not gonna be okay until I'm at JFK, because as I mentioned, it's always a crazy trip over there. Okay, so quickly, just to mention the jewelry that I'm gonna be wearing, I have my little gold earrings on from Madewell. They're really good deep for the Bottega ones, and I think they're smaller, which I kind of like, especially since I've been wearing these every single day. And then my watch is my Coach Outlet watch. I wear this probably every day of my life as well. And then I have a new chain ring on from Saint Laurent. It's kind of like this nameplate design and a chain around that side. I have the largest fingers ever, so this just fits me, but it's still like comfortable to wear, even though it's like pretty chunky. I thought I was gonna be like annoyed by it, but I actually really like it. And then this is just a ring that I wear all the time as well from high school graduation. So yeah, that's the jewelry. This is the full outfit and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog because I have to go to the airport and I think if I end up filming in Venice, which I am definitely going to film, I just was deciding whether or not I wanted to bring my camera. So I'm gonna leave the camera at home and then I'm gonna vlog on my phone if anything. So stay tuned for that. I hope that at the very least, I'm gonna take clips and insert them into the next vlog, but I'm only there for three days and I will be back in my normal setting afterwards. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you found it enjoyable and through all of the chaos, we still found some outfit inspiration. So make sure you are all subscribed. I would absolutely love to have you. I know I say this in every single video, but just a little reminder at the end, just in case you don't, follow me over on Instagram or subscribe to me here. I would love to have you in my audience permanently. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all and I will see you in my next one.